Hello everybody, my name's Karen Fire and welcome back to a brand new Kill the Souls video. Today we're going to be talking about stamina armor. Now, as you guys might know from watching videos from other creators and myself, there's going to be huge stamina changes when it comes to our next update. So, I have some armor in these boxes to help alleviate that issue, hopefully, and maybe give you a little bit more stamina back. We're going to be going over armors that are free, armors that are DLC, Dungeoneer armors, and all sorts. From both Sipta and the Exiled Lands, your job is to put it together, but I will provide an armor at the end of it that kind of combines the bestest ones I could find from my today's selection. If I do miss any armors though, make sure you put them in the comments down below and mention why and what stamina they give. Looking at our first selection here, these are a good old selection of armors. So we have the Black Dragon set. This gives you stamina as a full set. It is from the Aquilonian DLC that you can get. We also have the Argosian Gladiator Helmet, which is from the Argosian DLC. So that is a medium armor, where this one is a heavy armor. You can get some of these in epic quality as well. As you can see on these, they have a purple border. But I've just picked out what you can get at minimal base for now. So you probably can get like some better results on some epic branded armor. So here you go. That's the Blackwater one you can also get. I don't believe this is a DLC from what I remember. From what I remember, you just need a recipe to make them, so you don't need anything special. Same with the Stygian one, this is pretty decent as well. The set is a heavy set, so if you like heavy armor, it's got some decent values on there. Really good values, actually, and some good stamina to go along with it. This next one is a DLC, though. This is an Arla Scepter one, the Slave Forged armor. You can make it on either map if I remember right, but you do get it from owning the DLC from what I remember. The next box set is this one and we have a couple to go through. So this one is from the Kitai one DLC. So this is a buy one. This is a pair of light armor. I give you five on each. If you want a full set that does all stamina. This next one is from the arena DLC. So blood and sands. You only get it in the tops and the bottoms, so there you go. Only leggings and boots. And the next one is Ranger, so that gives you a mixture of agility and stamina. So if you're looking to maximize on both, you can get the Ranger set. And that is a newer one, I believe, that you can get. Our next look at is some of the ones you can find in the world and in dungeons. So all of the Godbreaker helmets from rusted to normal to chilled, they will all give five stamina. For some reason, I don't know why it's five stamina. I feel like it should be more if it's on a Godbreaker set. Because Godbreaker is not exactly like a walk in the park to get the actual armor. So I feel like they should at least give you a better bonus. But it's plus five on all of them. So there you go. You can also get plus five in a full set of veneer heavy. And in the fur as well. So that's your medium set. You can get stamina in them as well so you can rely on the normal base game uh, cold northern sets if you want a bit of stamina relief there's also from the wine cellar dungeon kari armor you can get this in the medium set so you can get some health bonuses and plus five stamina so that's actually quite nice the light armor set also gives stamina as well as strength weapon damage so if you want some a mixture here and you like your light armor then you can always go for the kari overseer because that's going to give you a good boost looking at my next category and something that's probably one of the best skirts you can get minus the one i'm going to show in a bit we have the champion's armor that gives plus five in these parts not the skirt or the chest plate just your little bits so if you just want to wear the smaller parts of champions you can wear that and it'll give you a bit of a bonus on stamina as well as giving some really nice armor you also have the mitrian set so if you want some really early game light set uh, you can use the mitrian set for some stamina right there plus five in everything no helmet in the silent legion light boots you can get plus 10 stamina which is really decent and very good in the silent legion medium helmet you can also get 10 stamina and that's a medium set and then in the redeemed legion tasset set and the silent legion tasset set so both of those you can get some good stamina the normal one has five but redeemed has 15 and that's really really good 
if you like your silent legion heavies so that's a really solid choice right there for redeemed looking at my last box we have some other bits and bobs including a legendary item which is the gauntlets of the brute which give you 15 plus in stamina one of the highest ones i've found so far that you can find in a gauntlet then we look at the rest of it so this is just reptilian armor so it doesn't have anything to do with it i just put it together because it kind of matches you know how it goes that's a plus five from the dregs and you can look at the gladiator sandals which is i believe from the delving bench and that's a really solid set if you can get your hands on it it's heavy and it gives plus 10 on all pieces so i highly recommend this set very good uh, definitely for stamina bonuses next one is june hunter which gives you agility stuff and stamina along the way so there you go lovely next one's also a delving armor black privateer i believe and that's just another plus five in these smaller parts of the armor and then i have some mix and match for you here so the reaver's helmet plus five the gray one shoulders from the allosipter plus 10 chieftain gauntlets from the delving that's plus five in stamina and plus 20 in health the leggings of crack a new one from the dungeon is the best stamina item i've found so far giving you plus 30 stamina just for wearing the leggings the rest of the clothes don't count but the leggings definitely do so if you want a really solid piece it will be this because it's going to really help with stamina it is a light set though so depends what you want to do if you want to sacrifice a bit of uh, stamina for the better armor of the silent legion one it might be worth looking into the other one then you also have the spider climb boots which is one of the best stamina boots i have found so there you go that's really solid for stamina right there one additional as well is the actual ab missile boots which gives 15 stamina as well forgot to mention that that's a sorcery item though so just be careful then you have the pride of azure chest place which is gotten from doing the puzzle at the forgotten ones tribe area and that gives a plus 10 in stamina so some really decent sets here and variety of non-paid and paid dlc that you can get different armors from of different varieties there's also a few other ones that are dlc and bought ones from the bazaar i can actually get them up because in the test live version of this game it's really funny about paid stuff some of the paid stuff works some doesn't some i own some i don't but i'm just going to go over a few right now from the wiki thankfully the wiki have a few examples on here that you can look at as well of some of the sets we just went over and they have some of the paid ones in here so the twitch set that you got a while ago um which is i believe it's the watcher set so gloves of the watcher and a few other pieces of that set that helps with stamina there's also the gherkinai gherk high whatever you want to call it i don't know that's all stamina i'm going to include this link in the description down below so if you want to find some things like the unholy communion sets and different bits and bobs you can look up how to get them exactly and you can also look up uh, the different ones i haven't mentioned today of a few of the other ones included in this little wiki list thanks to the community so if i was to put a set together from what we talked about today what would it look like yep it would look like this i look rather funny don't i <laughs> but that is some of the best pieces of stamina armor i could find out of these boxes so it includes the spider climb boots which is a plus 20 leggings of karaka plus 30 the brute gauntlets which is a plus 15 the gladiator waist guard and helmet which are plus 10s which to be honest you can mix and match with a few other sets in here because there were a few other plus 10s around the shop like the stygian one has a few plus 10s in there so yeah just mix and match and see what you like but uh, the bottom half of this is definitely the best armors i could find stamina wise and then the top is interchangeable with a few other sets i found let me know what you're going to be rocking in this new season are you going to bother with stamina armor at all uh, i hope this kind of helped you out look at a few different armor options and see what you like and again links will be in the description if you need any more information about those armors specifically but anyway thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye!